What's going on, fam tribe? Welcome back to Emperor's Light Tarot. It's me, Tony, your resident tarot specialist, back from a much needed hiatus, right? And I don't only do tarot, but I watch tarot as well, so sometimes it just becomes a little too much. But we're back at it. We are back at it, doing a little, something a little special for you guys this morning, out and about, out in nature, right? Doing a reading outside, which is like my favorite readings. But coming to the video, liking the video, and subscribing to the channel so that we can continue to grow, continue our ascent up the rankings, right? <laughs> We're going to be checking your current love energetics, seeing what the universe has in store for you in regards to romance, what you need to know, what's coming up for you, who may be trying to connect with you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So let's get into it. I'd like to see what the tarot says today. Man, I haven't shuffled cards yet. It's been a while. <laughs> Let's see. Highest messages of love and life for the collective today, Spirit, in regards to love and romance and the matters of the heart. What do they need to know? But yeah, hopefully you guys had a good week. It's been hot. <laughs> All right, so no jumpers. Let's get one more shuffle in and we'll start your message. Love for the collective spirit. Grounding your reading, okay. <laughs> Grounding your message for today is the page of Pentacles. So we got the page of Pentacles coming out. It could be an offer headed towards you small or otherwise the page of pentacles is also a student so this is your grounding energy i'm not sure if you're a student or if you have a student around you at this time or someone that wants to offer you some sort of a gift or payment it is my tokens of appreciations card right now someone could also be um venturing into entrepreneurship maybe a new job for someone page of pentacles is my budding entrepreneur the lovers so yeah someone wants to bring in an offer to you this symbolizes gemini energy Right, communication is key. Probably the most important thing in a relationship, the communication. Right? Again, like I said, Gemini or any uh, one of the air signs, but this is this is soulmate, right? This lets you know when you've come across a true love connection, a divine love connection. We see the earth angel behind these two. So yeah, you could have uh, someone that feels lover's energy towards you, or yeah, this is the energy that's headed towards you. A king of cups, yeah. One of, if not the most romantic uh, king or card in the tarot deck. Someone very um, emotional. Well, they're emotionally intelligent, right? Yep, someone very loving, someone very supportive. You could be dealing with a healer. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Possibly an intuitive individual. Maybe this person likes to drink or be near water. A doctor or a therapist or something like that we also have the eight of cups detoxing or detaching or walking away the chariot okay so you're dealing with a water sign here this is cancerian energy now the chariot is, you know, that's 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 fast travel. It's the fastest moving uh, card in the tarot deck. It's transportation. It's willpower. Someone very determined. Someone very uh, empathic, very caring, right? Cancerian major arcana. Yeah, I definitely think someone's headed towards you um, with some sort of a romantic offer here. It looks like they're walking away from something first. The High Priestess, more water sign energy. Cancerian energy for me, but again, it could be Pisces or Scorpio as well. This is indicative of a spiritual awakening or someone very spiritual, someone very deep, very knowledgeable, someone very meditative. You could be dealing with an occultist. 
Yeah, but that's a, it's like an esoteric teacher. You could be dealing with a teacher. This person sees this relationship as a spiritual relationship. There's a lot of, you guys can have a psychic connection. There could be a lot of um, intuitive hits, a lot of uh, empathetic actions and emotions, right? You guys probably sense each other or you guys um, possibly just do a, a lot of nice things. I'm getting a lot of nice things uh, for each other from the heart. Okay, yeah. But yeah, like I said, strong water sign energy. King of Cups, Eight of Cups, the Chariot, the High Priestess. The first card that come out was an air sign card, though. Gemini energy. Yeah, so someone wants to come in with this offer here for you. This may even be some sort of an engagement. You could be looking at marriage. Let's take a look. Or just could be taking a relationship to the next step. I'm not sure if you're friends with this person. But yeah, they see a spiritual connection with you here. <laughs> Two of Pentacles juggling or balancing, right? <laughs> yeah, it could be some sort of an opposite to track. This is immediately what I'm getting because one person's Caucasian here and the other person's an Ebonite. Yeah, even here on the chariot. The Sphinx, one of them is black and one of them is white. Yeah, so this could be a cross-cultured relationship. <laughs> there could be a difference in spirituality. I'm not sure what I'm getting here because the numerology two on the high priestess and then the two of pentacles. I'm not sure if this person is, is nervous about uh, your spirituality or something like that or their spirituality, however it resonates for you. But the two of pentacles usually symbolizes, right, like... Um, it ba it's basically trying to get on, um, like trying to, okay, I'm, I'm getting that song. Get, what song is that? Is that a Nas song? <laughs> but it's basically someone trying to gain equal footing or like a sturdy footing here. So again, this could be like a new job. For instance, if this, if you're at a job and you have like a new coworker that come in or something like this, or you're new at a job, page of pentacles. Yeah. There's someone around there that's, that, that likes you, but I mean, it's the job. So they could either be nervous Mm, that's one story. The other way that I'm getting it is the typical um, balancing home life and relationships. Yeah, balancing your money and finances. I'm sorry, your love life and your finances because th this is your love life, right? <laughs> Gemini, the lovers, and this is your finances. Maybe this person wants to work with you. I'm not sure. The Six of Cups. Ooh. The Six of Cups and the numerology six on the Gemini lovers. So this is a uh, this, uh, someone. OK, so, yeah, this is a soulmate here. You could have a past life connection with this individual, whether literally you had a relationship with them in the past. I'm not sure how is this resonating for you. I don't know, 10, 20, 30 years ago or whatever the case may be. Or this could literally be like soul resonance from a past life. Someone you someone that you've dated before in the past or was real close with. Or had a strong emotional connection with yeah i mean it's a spiritual connection here all right we could talk all day about whether you believe in reincarnation or not but <laughs> you came from somewhere where did you come from you came from your father where did your father come from your father came from his father which will be your granddad your yeah your granddad and so on and so forth your dna came from somewhere you literally live on through your ancestors and your descendants so whether it's you or <laughs> Whatever, one of your past lives, yeah, you have a past life uh, connection or relationship with this individual. Someone is some sort of a clairvoyant or an oracle. They were psychic. Yep, more cups energy, wish fulfillment. That's funny, 69. Hmm. Yeah, so this person really likes you. I mean, you may even like this person. They see you as wish fulfillment. I got this sun in the background. I know you guys probably can't even see these cards. <laughs> yeah. Wish fulfillment, this person see you as very content, or this is the energy that they're coming towards you in. Again, very mature, emotionally stable, possibly looking for romance. Let's clarify the chariot. This person's coming towards you quick, fast, in a hurry. Yep. Coming towards you, looking for a victory. They're on a horse. So they're traveling towards you. Or they're wanting to make a beeline toward you. The Six of Wands is, again, it's winning, right? It's victory. It's success. It's standing ovation. It's being put on a pedestal or a platform. It gives off subtle vibes of, of uh, transportation to me as well because he is on, on a horse. Oh, this person's sexually attracted to you. I got drawn to this uh, 
this wand going inside this hole. Yeah, I'm getting that Married with Children um, theme song in my head. Let's go ahead and clarify the High Priestess, the Queen of Swords. Discernment, someone very independent, the Ice Queen. This could be like getting a second opinion or a therapist. So this person is very educated. Mm -hmm. Possibly went through some things in the past as well. Comes out on top of the High Priestess. So yeah, again, a very knowledgeable individual. You could be dealing with like a therapist or something like that or... A reader like myself, clairvoyant. I guess some sort of a therapist or psychologist. They possibly help people out. I'm not sure if this person is a speaker. They may have some sort of a platform here, like a YouTuber or whatever the case may be. So they would be like a motivational speaker or an author or something like that. Possibly an editor. Hmm. The Four of Pentacles. I'm not sure if this person is guarded or protected, but they're 1111. They are a strong saver. Comes out on top of the Two of, of Pentacles and the Lovers. That's interesting. So the Two doubles to a Four. This person may be controlling. Um... Hmm, how do I want to put this? They could be uh, controlling when they get into a relationship, like controlling about the person that they're dating. Oh, man, I don't want it to sound negative, though. Yeah, they're, they're very protective over you or something like that. This person may even spoil you a lot as well. Let's clarify the Six of Cups and King of Cups. The Ace of Pentacles, yeah, this person wants to marry you. This person wants a new commitment with you or something like that. I mean, if you guys are worried or thinking about monies or finances, there's definitely a windfall of abundance headed towards you, an opportunity to gain some sort of a resource. This person may come and buy you a big gift. Yeah, that's what I was getting. So this person's possibly like juggling work and home life or something like that or love and work. They may even be like doing overtime or something like that to build up their finances, right? Saving for Pentacles. So this is them <laughs> trying to get on equal footing, trying to balance work and home, right? Uh, or whatever, the, the time that they have with the relationship. I'm not sure how it's coming off, but basically they're um, putting in overtime at work or something like that. Saving so that they can buy you this gift, Ace of Pentacles. Even this um, and these two kids here, he's bringing her a cup of flowers or something like that. This may be an apology for some. But this may be straight up a um, like um, a relationship for some. Maybe someone wants to marry you here. It is the lovers. So this person is doing all this for uh, the sake of love, basically, right? Working, juggling, trying to balance, saving. So it may not be that they're controlling. It's just they're, they're trying to do something in a very specific way. Maybe this person has a job and like a side business as well. The nine of wands, wounded warrior, comes out right on top of the nine of cups and the eight of cups. Yeah. This person is determined. Mm -hmm. They're determined to get what they want. They're determined to, I'm getting to make you happy. Yeah, they're going over and, well, hey, <laughs> one man's trash is another man's treasure. Even though I hate that saying, but a lot of people know that saying, so I'm going to use it here. Let's go ahead and clarify the six of wands and a chariot, page of cups. This person has, a, I mean, we already established that this person likes you a lot because right after the um, the lover's card came out, we had the king of cups, which is the most, the most romantic. It's, it's the king, but we have a page here. I'm not sure if this person lets you know that they like you yet. If this is already a relationship, because some of you guys are already in a relationship, this could be uh, them wanting a child with you. Yeah, basically is what I'm getting. Mm -hmm. Yep. Resonates for someone. We could have an apology as well. The Page of Cups. 
that's my budding intuitive though. So someone may see you as a muse. Mm. I can't really determine if this person is a younger or older than you because we have the king and the uh, and the page of cups. Mm. There's children here, though. Either they want to have children with you or this person already has children. Or you already have children. Last card of the reading, the Three of Swords. Mm. Don't like to see the Three of Swords in a reading. Comes out on top of the, yeah, the Ice Queen, the Queen of Swords, and the uh, High Priestess. That's like third parties breakup situation, like ending in a, uh, a relationship ending in a bad cycle or something like that. Cheating or lusty behavior. Lies. Getting like heartbreaker vibes. I'm not sure who it's coming from, though, this person or if it's coming for, uh, from you. Someone could have come out of a bad relationship, maybe like a, um, a, a divorce or something like that. Someone could also feel like they're not getting enough attention. My clear audience is going off like crazy. Page of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. Yeah, they're working on something here that they're obsessed uh, obsessed with. This is like an obsessed artist. But again, yeah, coming out on top of the page of Pentacles, it's giving me that. It's, this resonates for someone. It's giving off someone uh, that's either working overtime or they're working hard at some sort of a side hustle or side business that they have, right? They're trying to generate finances so that they can bring you some sort of an offer here. The moon card, the emotions is being hidden behind this eight of swords. It's almost as if they don't want to approach you unless they have something um, uh, and uh, something tangible or it could be intangible, a gift or something to offer you. Could very well be their emotions or the fact that they're in love with you or that they're romantically attracted to you. The Six of Pentacles. Yeah, they want to bring you a gift here. Yeah. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. That's like uh, a tangible offer or something like that. It could be like donations. Um it is balance, right, as well. This could be um, support financially, equal give and take. And again, it could be, it, it does not necessarily have to be something tangible, although for some of you guys, it will resonate as that. It's almost like um, matching heart um, frequencies with someone. Yeah. Yeah. They want to match you romantically or something like that. Possibly. Oh, spirituality here. Yeah. This person may fear your spirituality or have concerns about your spirituality. It could be religion, but I'm getting spirituality here. We got the hangman. Because I kept getting that with the high priestess and the queen of swords and the three of swords. I mean, I could even give you like a personal testimony about that as well. Some people are touchy like that, though, just like, you know, Christian, you know, when you mix when you start mixing religions and stuff like that. Some people don't quite understand spirituality yet or whatever the case may be. So they may have an issue dating someone that's not in the same religion or practice a different spirituality or something like that. This this is something that this person has a concern about. Yeah. Five of swords. Yeah. Arguing or debating or misunderstanding. Right. My multiple language cards or just um, communicating in a different way. That's crazy because the first card out is communication is key here. The Gemini's, you know, they like to talk, right? And then the bottom, the last card of the read, the five of swords, three of swords, actually. I don't I'm not necessarily reading shyness. Yeah, this could definitely, so, okay, so what I'm getting, and all I keep thinking about is that damn Diddy situation. So, there's an apology here that may be coming towards you for some, some people, are some, some this person's trying to bring you some sort of a gift or offer or something like that. Again, 
they don't want to they want to bring you something from the heart they want to match you on the same heart vibration or something like that um it's going to resonate for some of you guys and then for the rest of you guys um there's definitely love coming towards you from a it's definitely a water sign because it's let me see what I got here. This is all water sign, Major Arcana. Pisces showing up in the um, reading, the hangman, the enlightened one. Pisces again in Cancer, showing up in the moon card. This is someone's strong emotions. They could be dreaming about you here. Another water sign, right? Cancer here with the high priestess. Again, either you or this person is super spiritual. And this may be a concern of this individual. Cancer, another water sign, Major Arcana. So we got four water sign, Major Arcanas. The King of Cups and the Page of Cups. This person has strong water placement somewhere in their birth chart. Do they really want to get close to you? They really want to connect with you? I mean, maybe they want to teach you something or learn from you. Um, we got King of Cups. This could be a healing relationship as well. King of Cups and Queen of Swords. Yeah, you could be dealing with like a therapist, a psychologist, or a psychiatrist. Could be a teacher. I'm even getting like a retreat for someone. It, ooh, what is this? Um, when those celebrities, when they need to detox, like a um, 12-step program or something like that. Yeah, this person, maybe they've had therapy in the past or something like that. Now, the, the positive thing is, it seems like this person has emotionally matured. Got the lovers. Yeah, so they see you as like a divine connection or something like that. They, uh, they want to bring you some sort of an offer, a gift, some sort of a, a tangible offer. This could be uh, planting a seed of, ch of childbirth or um, I don't know, maybe they want to buy you a house or buy you a car or buy you a bouquet of roses or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Wish fulfillment. The nine of cups. I'll do a break deck message and then I'll end off this reading. Yeah, I haven't read in a week. That was kind of strange. But for the most part, very positive love message. You're definitely dealing with a water sign unless you are this water sign. You have a soulmate headed towards you. Gemini, the lovers and six of cups. They're seeing you as wish. For, there goes the queen of cups. They're seeing you as wish fulfillment with the nine of cups. And then we have the queen of cups and the seven of cups. We even have the King of Wands here. Yeah, so this definitely could be your person. Or a very powerful uh, love relationship that's headed towards you. You could be attracting someone that's like you, basically. Well, it makes sense if that's like your twin flame soulmate or whatever the case may be. It's you. It's just you in a different body. Like... If you're a dude, it would just be a chick, a version of you. Or if you're a chick, this would be like a dude version of you. 23, 23, showing up on a timer. Like, they probably like the same things you like, do the same things you do. Just in a different body, someone outside of yourself. All right, let's get a break deck message to close out the reading. Highest messages of love and light for the collective this morning. Back on our tarot reading BS. <laughs> yeah. All right, no jumpers. So let me shuffle. I'll pull your break deck message. Like the video, subscribe to the channel so that we continue to grow. All right, so we got the Two of Swords and the Nine of Wands again. This person may, hmm, they want to get close to you, but they may find it hard to get close to you. I'm not sure if this person, um, so this is blocked communication. You may have this person blocked online or this person does not have access to your um, um, platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever the case may be. They may be trying to look you up online or something like that and they can't find you. 
But the two of swords is typically indecision, right? Not only block communication, it's indecision. Someone not willing to make a choice. Either they don't have uh, an understanding or they just lack vision. <laughs> and this person may wear glasses or contacts, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, the nine of wands, the wounded warrior. Yeah, maybe they have some sort of an eye uh, injury or something like that. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. This person, uh, they have some sort of an eye injury or something like that. Mm. Possibly. Or something about the eyes. But the Nine of Wands is um, 25, 25. That's the wounded warrior energy, right? That is um, a long-fought battle. Um, someone still willing to go the extra mile or the extra distance, right? It's closure. Wanting to end off this particular cycle. Trying to reach the Ten of Wands to drop this energy or end these burdens. Mm. It's giving me, I'm getting like a deep story here. This could be like some sort of a divine love or something like that. It's all, it's almost like um, not being able to get over something or not being satiated until you find the one for you or until this person finds the one for them. Hey, I feel like that sometimes. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure if this person was single for a long time, possibly with the Wounded Warrior, going on their own journey, cycles and adventures. They've had a relationship, maybe even a marriage. So, yeah, this, they could possibly have been single for a long time. Or decided to be single for a long time. Yeah, so this person knows themselves yeah, better than most people know themselves. But yeah, they want to match vibes with you. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just getting, I'm getting the lovers, Gemini and the King of Cups. Yeah, they want to, they want to uh, share in real love with you here. Be emotional. That's like the King of Cups is like a man opening up. Uh, it's like he, he being an emotionally intelligent man, right? A man opening up about his emotions. You know, not necessarily wearing his heart on his sleeve, but knowing who to smile at, right? <laughs> not being like overly friendly, right? Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Or it could even be a feminine, right? A hard-ass feminine. And um, the reason she that she's that way for a particular reason. So she's finding a lover and she's matching, right? She knows that if she wants to have this relationship, she's matching um, heart vibrations or heart vibes with this individual. Being on the same level emotionally. Like it's like the same heart frequency is what I keep getting. Let me get one more break deck message because I'm over explaining it and trying to channel it, but I can't really. I'll be here all day. Plus, I haven't read in a week. <laughs> this will end up being an hour long reading. Yeah. Options here. Uh, so the three of swords, again, is heartbreak energy. Again, this person could have come out of some sort of a divorce or a bad relationship breakup. This person may have even been... Um, the seven of cups is like options, right? It's also intuition. This person may have even been uh, triggered or um, I don't want to say made fun of. What are we kids? This person may have been have been targeted negatively or um, they may. Huh. Damn, what is this? They're, they're spiritual and they may have been um, made fun of because of that, right? This person may have found some sort of a spiritual outlet or started to develop themselves, right? The whole self-love journey or whatever it is. They may have started to read up on astrology or esoterics and occultism, right? And that turned their partner off possibly or their partner just didn't take, they didn't take to it. So they grew apart or something like that. And that's what caused the divorce or the breakup or something like that. So now this person is looking at you like, oh, and I was thinking about that this morning. A chick, she asked, um, she's been, she's been growing herself. She's a doula. She um she asked she asked it to both men and women, but I'm the man, so I'm gonna um I'm gonna talk about the, the question she asked to the men. What do men uh, like um physically in a woman? Um it was more than just physical, um, but yeah, it's like <laughs> yeah, I just think that women should be able to shape shift, transform when it comes to their their men, right? I've seen memes like that. I mean, why do you think uh, this is this is the case for case for some men that they can't stop sleeping with so many different women, right? Is because their partner can't fill that void. Or I don't know what it is. I'm not even gonna give them the excuse or the out, right? But for me, 
Yeah, a gamer, right? A chick that cosplays, a chick that knows how to put on a, a feminine business skirt or whatever it is. You know how they be dressing all business like, like yeah, like a woman that knows how to shape shift, right? When we at home, you chilling, sweatpants, hair tied, chilling with no makeup on. When I'm ready to take you out, you looking like the best woman, the best rose in the garden. Or like if we want to go whatever to a, uh, an anime convention, yeah, you know how to cosplay, right? You know how to change up your voice, right? You may even speak different languages, but yeah, you know how to, right? You know how to use the right tone in, in different situations, right? Voice inflections and that, and that sort of thing, right? You think about different things. You're a feminine leader and you don't just do everything you see other chicks on Instagram doing or other chicks out in the world doing. Everyone wants blonde hair. It's like, nah. <laughs> Everyone wants tattoos up and down their body. It's like, okay. We can make concessions on some things, but the way I like my women... Yeah, I'll take a standout any day. And the problem and the crazy thing is she, she probably doesn't even think she's a standout. <laughs> oh. Baby, you shine. Shine bright like a diamond. Anyways, I'm out of here. There we go for our new reading for the week. I'll be putting out some more messages for today. I'm going to go freshen up. I've already had breakfast. Hopefully you guys enjoy your day. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.